The University of Kentucky is uniquely positioned as the land-grant university. We are charged to essentially bring the university to the people of the state of Kentucky. And so we operate with a tripart mission to where we do research as well as teaching and outreach or extension education. The School of Human Environmental Sciences has three academic departments, family sciences, as well as dietetics and human nutrition, and retailing tourism and management. And I think that all three departments fit together well as if pieces of a puzzle. We know that not everyone has the opportunity to come to campus and go to class, but what we can do is we can take that research-based information that is developed at the university and take it out to the people in the state and disseminate that information so that we know that they're getting good, practical, solid knowledge. Through its cooperative extension services, the University of Kentucky provides technical assistance to local community agencies. Public health was unaccustomed or has been unaccustomed to working with these extension agents as um, key change agents to bring together folks from these communities to effect change, uh, to create greater opportunity for folks to engage in physical activity and eat healthy. Public health has been doing this for some time, but not necessarily in collaboration with the extension agents, uh, which really highlights the novelty of this collaboration. Being an extension agent, specifically in family and consumer sciences, is a unique opportunity to work with youth and adults, providing um, life skills education to individuals. One of the strengths of this work is that we're offering evidence-based strategies to change the environment, to make it easier for people to make healthy choices. And in partnership with faculty at a land-grant university, we can perform the original extension function which was to extend the knowledge of the university out to the people. I think the CDC Obesity Prevention Project has really helped us. We installed a fit trail, we did um, additional playground equipment and some safety fencing around there, installed new benches and picnic tables for folks at the park, an outdoor water fountain that was desperately needed on the backside of our park. For food retail, we've been using our program called Plated Up Kentucky Proud. And that is a collaboration with the Kentucky Department of Agriculture. We have really tried to work with grocery stores to think about the appearance and the access of fresh fruits and vegetables. So we've bought a variety of display pieces, shopping carts for children to be able to shop alongside their parents. Because again, we want people to see that incorporating fruits and vegetables into their diet can sometimes be a simple and easy thing to do. The University of Kentucky has been very successful in collaborating with local community agencies in Clinton County. The university has an exceptional staff at the extension office. We have the FCS agent, the Ag agent, the SNAP assistant, and the 4-H agent working together as a unified body to achieve a common goal. And that goal is to make Clinton County a healthier county. The goal of SNAPED is to improve the likelihood that persons receiving SNAP benefit will be able to make healthy food choices within their limited budgets and that they will be able to adopt active lifestyles. That is not something that SNAPED can do single-handedly. The purpose of the Rural Child Poverty Nutrition Center is to administer and provide support to 16 different organizations uh, working in areas of high need and with very little infrastructure to improve coordination between nutrition assistance programs, particularly those that uh, influence children. The Rural Child Poverty Nutrition Center program has really made a difference in our community. We have been able to focus on the summer feeding program to enhance the Bus Stop Cafe, which delivers both breakfast and lunch to students throughout our community. My hope for when the center finishes its work is that the Rural Child Poverty Nutrition Center coalitions continue to work collaboratively together to break down barriers to child nutrition and also sustain their strategies that they've implemented through the program. 
there's a lot of excitement and momentum in our community right now toward healthy living and how we can really work collaboratively to you know, make those major improvements. One of the great things about working together has been that we've been able to collaborate on our environmental strategies while continuing to offer direct education, which is the hallmark of what Extension Service does and really helps people um, reshape their lives. One of the most unique things that I think about our departments is that our subject matter is very nimble. So we have the opportunity to react to current events or to current needs of communities. So I think as we look towards the future of Family Consumer Sciences Extension as well as the future of the School of Human Environmental Sciences, that um, we really have the opportunity to respond to our local community needs.